Shaq, you got notes? Don't even I'll say nothing. Right. Don't even say okay. nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Let's just okay. go. Shaq got notes. <laughs> uh, Shaq do got notes. You're a whole teacher, man. Come on. <laughs> okay, I, I'm feeling that. I got, I got some notes, too. That's great. She I ain't the only one with notes, notes baby. Y'all yeah. too funny, man. That's what's up, though. Yo, welcome to Beers and Bars. Your place for rapid fire, hip hop discussion, and of course, great beer. I'm Kamal Kiddo. OT the Golden Child. Thank y'all for checking out our last episode with our homie Matt Linder from uh, yeah, Sacramento, Matt Linder, California. What up, Matt? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, big shout out to Matt for being on the show. Uh, we have a new, well, first of all, let's make an announcement first. If you're listening to this uh, or watching this the first time, um, make sure you follow us on all streaming platforms now because Woo! we are. Yeah, 2021 yeah, yeah. baby uh yeah go ahead and uh subscribe to us on apple Podcasts, uh spotify google wherever you yes. podcast that we yes. will be available for you yes, um yes. yes yes but you can also go to youtube and see our other episodes and whatnot because we started i think at 190 on on all the streaming platforms and i'm not yeah. we're not gonna upload 180 joints onto the yeah you know, just go check no. it out on youtube Anyhow, we have some esteemed guests today. Yes, we um, have esteemed guests, yes. We're gonna let them introduce themselves. Which one of you, well, Shaq, you've been here before, so we'll let you, you we'll let you go first, go ahead. They both been here before. Kelty's been here, but long, like, it's been over a year, my, maybe two years. Yeah. I was the photographer, I was the photographer at one point. That's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah. That's true, you weren't on the show, you weren't on the show? Nope. Wow! I filmed it. I filmed it. <laughs> true that. True that. True that. Kelsey should go first. Okay, go ahead. Introduce yourself, man. Well, you can't already do it, but go ahead, Kelsey. Uh, okay, I'm Kelsey. Yourself. Kelsey Griffin, aka KG from the Shad West Side, the best side. And um, you know what? <laughs> I'm just excited to be here. This is my first time physically being on beers and bars, and um, I'm excited about the content and the um, what we're discussing. So I'm I'm ready to go. All right. A lot of energy. That's positive. Woo, this is a different vibe. OT, this is a different vibe right now. Well, yeah. that's what we're here, man, you know. But all right, uh, Shaq was good. All right. That was hard to follow. Uh, I'm Shaq. Um, I have been here before. However, I'm excited to be back. Um, I love the energy, love the vibe, love the podcast. So I'm ready to go and see what I can add to it. Right on, right on. Positive vibe. Just... Let's okay. do this. Right. Come on, I think first let's, we, we got to let the people let's know. Do this. It's all smiles. All smiles. Let's let them know why they're, why they're here. Um, you so, know, um, yeah, go ahead. Come on. So today we're talking about, um, we're talking about two albums. We're talking about last year's, well, they both from last year, aren't they? No, no, Cleo Soul no. Is, but we're talking about, we're talking about Cleo Soul, um, who dropped like May or June of last year of 2020. Oh. And we're talking about, this year, 2021, Jasmine Sullivan, Jasmine Sullivan's album, Hotels. Yes. Um, and I thought it was very, after listening, like, I'm a fan of Jasmine Sullivan. She, like, she's, she's the bee's knees, as far as I'm concerned. As far as singers are concerned. Um, so I was very excited to hear her album. And when I heard it, I immediately wanted to review it, but we couldn't review it because of the content. We couldn't review it as two males from a male perspective. This is a, this is a single female, in my opinion, this is a single uh, black female perspective and it would be doing the album a disservice to have two men reviewing it it was just it just wouldn't be right it wouldn't be fair it would just be distasteful it, mm -hmm. it that's not very it's tacky you know what i'm saying who are we to be talking about it and i really wanted like a big panel of people like five women but you know scheduling conflicts is, is hard to really manage yeah. and we don't want to get too far away from when it dropped um so I had to think of like some spicy, opinionated people that I know. You know what I'm saying? And that's Definitely where spicy. that's where Kelsey and Shaq come in. Um, family, 
um, you know, I, hey, we if we wasn't doing a podcast and we were all outside and able to talk, we'd be talking about this album for sure. For sure. Um, in the back, in the backyard, for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, so that's what it is. Also, Cleo Soul, um, I, somebody put me on late last year. A rose and, in the dark. And when I heard it, I was blown away. Mm-hmm. How is this not getting more press than it is? Like, yo. And so we were trying to find a, a place to put it because it's R and B. We really be talking about rap, and this is the perfect setting to put it in. You know what I'm saying? So Cleo, so uh, Rose in the Dark, and uh, Jasmine Sullivan Hotels. Let's kick it to figure out what we drinking. Uh, we gonna we drink? get to how, yeah. Let's. Uh, Kelsey, what what do you have? What are you drinking? So I know this beers and bars, you know what I'm saying. But um, uh, KG is drinking some um, Ciroc, um, some Cognac, Brandy. Cognac, <laughs> Cognac. Brandy. Brandy. This is my first time drinking. Um, uh, this is my first time ever having this. I, I didn't want to um open it up before the show. So this it's still sealed. Ooh. So I'ma drink it. I'ma drink it. I'ma I'm crack it and I'ma drink it with, with, with y'all. We t- together. We're gonna drink That's it together. That's what's up. That's what's up. You gotta let us know how that tastes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For that, sure. We, that we the music as well as the actual beer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, you wanna go next, OT, or you want me to go? Let's you know, Shaq was ready. Up. I think Shaq was queuing up. Go so ahead, let's, Shaq. Let's, That's right. Yeah. Ladies first. I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, so Shaq is drinking ginger beer. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> As you guys know, I'm breastfeeding, so unfortunately. True that, true that. That's positive. What's up? Straight ginger beer. I feel that vibe. I feel that vibe. Let's go. Red cup. Combo. <laughs> Hold on. Right up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it away, man. I got um Thank you, OT. Uh, met up with OT over the weekend. I had a gang of beer that he was trying to keep from me. But finally, I was able to get this beer popping. Um, this is Revolution Brewing's Death Star. Um, it's a stout aged in bourbon barrels. This is uh, 14.8 uh, alcohol content, ABV. That's a lot. Look at that. Look at that. For beer, absolutely. Yeah, if you drink, if he was to drink, you see see how the body on it is pretty thick. If he was to drink two of those, he would, uh, he'd be pretty yes. out of there. 14.8, that's intense. That's more that than one. That is. Come on, I will go. Uh, well, have you had that before, Ramon? I don't know. I think you have, right? What, Death Star? Yeah. I have, I have, I have. Okay. Uh, shout out to my homie Brian. I'm drinking Galactic Thoughts today, which is a double dry hopped IPA, double IPA from Old Irving. My homie went and picked up some beers this weekend and brought me some. So this is my first time having this Galactic Thoughts from Old Irving. So I'm gonna see what's popping with it. We can all y'all. We can all pull up. You know, y'all. Uh, Kelsey, you ready? You you already pulled uh, up. Kelsey, already? ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you mixing that with anything, Kelsey? Um, no, sir. I'm drinking this straight. <laughs> Ooh, right, this I'm a gangster. Crazy. I'm a gangster and a scholar. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. That's a bar. Cheers, everyone. Happy New Year. Cheers. Happy New Year. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is smooth. This is really nice. I didn't chill it. I didn't add no ice. It's just wow. straight. And That's how you. That's how you supposed to drink cognac. Facts, yeah. It's delicious. It's delicious. That's West Side living right there. Man, that takes me back to late night West Side nights, man. Just, oh. You already know. Cognac. God, God. Okay. All right. Um, Cleo Soul. Um, Let's go ahead and do Cleo Soul first. Okay. Do Cleo Soul first. I think um, Cleo Soul 2020. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rose in the dark. How y'all feel about it? When it have y'all have y'all like how many times have you heard it? Have you heard it? I mean, because I know I just sent you the album. Mm-hmm. Um, so how many times have you heard it? What have you thought about it? 
what are your favorite tracks on it? So Let's I was start. off today. I was off today, you know. So when you sent me the link last night, I was like, okay, I'm gonna listen to the morning. And I've listened to the album three times today. True. Cause it was just, I was cooking, you know what I'm saying? I was cleaning the house. I had just got back from the hotel from the weekend. I'm just like, hey, she cold. True. She called when 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 she sang. I was like, man, why haven't I heard about her? I said, why haven't thing. I heard about her? Yeah, the stuff she was saying, I was like, this is what we need to hear. This is yeah. this is this is this is this is something we need to hear all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't I didn't get it, and I didn't get it. this. Was like, you know what her album gave me? Mm -hmm. Her album gave me um. The Wiz, Emerald City vibes. Mm, wow. Like, I was wow. like, okay. I feel like I'm in Emerald City. Like, I got my, you got to be seen in green. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Listen, like, I'm not trying to kill the vibe. I'm not. And, but, because I did love the album. But I will oh, say, God. to answer the question as to why um, more people aren't listening to her, because I feel like she sounds like Solange. Ari Whoa. I mean, hot take, controversial, and they came out before she did. So I mean, I feel mm. like, she, but 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 it is a vibe. I agree with Kelsey. When I listened to it last night, when you sent the link, I was washing bottles, cooking, meal prepping, washing for bottles. I was in <laughs> my Mommy life. Oh, I know, right? But yeah, yeah. No, I definitely, I would agree. Um, it does give me vibes of um, a Solange. What's homegirl that can't, because she's from West London. Yeah. She has that UK uh, R&B feel. What's homegirl we bought like a while ago, come on. What's her name? Um, what's her name? The girl, uh, Light Skin, came out in like the early 2000s from, um, you really liked her. I wish I remember her name. But she has those vibes. I forgot her name. But anyway, I like the project. Um, it feels like she's talking to her younger self throughout the album. You know what I mean? It's like she's coaching a younger. Yeah. She's definitely giving a little, uh, uh, not, a young, not, a, a young, older or teenage girl advice. Yes. It's definitely advice. And even yeah. some of the stuff I need to hear now, like you right, yeah, yeah. right. Yes, my favorite yeah. song on the album was um was Butterfly. And oh, yeah. I wrote down some lyrics that just like, they it spoke to me. Talk but I lot lost in the night, running out of faith, but your wings are still bright. Like, I was just listening to that and literally yeah. I completely agree that um, I I felt like, I'm like, so you, you have to love on your, your inner child, like that younger you from that trauma that you never really healed from and, you know, go back and let that younger you know that it's okay. And if I could go back and tell my younger self, yeah. you know, now what I know this is what I would have said. Be okay. Right. Yep. This is what I would have said. You're a butterfly yeah. in the night right now, but you're going to get there. Yes. Um, and it. the fact that she's so young, y'all. She's yeah, so she's young. young. Was she like 20, 21? Mm -hmm. Might be 22, maybe. 22? Um, I dropped a bomb here. She's actually, she actually is 30. She's 30. What? Yeah. Whoa! I thought she, she was young. 30. When she turned 30. <laughs> yeah, she's 30. I definitely she, thought uh, she was 22. I thought she was young, G. I thought, I thought she was super young, too. She has, her. both her parents have musical backgrounds. Her father is Jamaican. That I knew. Mom. Her mom is Spanish and Yugoslavian or something. So she comes from like, like a musical Serbian, background. Something like that. But y'all hit, yeah, yeah. hit it on the head. I mean, man, like she's, I feel like she's just giving her younger self, you know, coaching, but at the same time, talking to people who probably listen to this. And I hope she do catch fire. Corinne Bailey Ray was the name, come on. Corinne Bailey Ray. It definitely gave me Corinne vibes. Uh, I'm a big fan of Corinne Bailey Ray. Uh, her, her first album, Danielle put me on, actually. My wife put me on. And uh, that joint was, that joint, <laughs> here you go. That joint was definitely fire. And uh, this joint, I put Danielle on this joint, and she listened to it right now upstairs. But uh, for me, one love is strong. Yeah. Why don't you is strong. Young love is strong. <laughs> Rewind is my joint. That might Rewind be my number hard. one joint. 
Sideways. Sideways. Yes. Sideways is good. Her light, the last track is good. Yeah. Um, it's a good album. It's a vibe. I it's really, a good vibe. I really wanted to talk about it, and I think that having you all on the show is beautiful. I, I'm going to try not to say that too much, but this is good to hear. We don't often have uh, women on the show. So to have that female perspective of, of any album, really, like this is good. And I would have never even thought to say some of the things that you all just said. Um, but I definitely think it is, uh, it makes sense. It makes even more sense that she is 30, talking to her younger self. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's good. I really like yeah. it. And yes, yes. There are other artists in her genre uh, that are doing probably similar music. If Oscar was on the show, everybody here know Oscar. If I was, Oscar was on the show, I went back and forth with him about this album, and he's mentioned how, uh, no, nah, uh, there are a lot of artists that have that very low tone singing, not really like belting out lyrics. Um, they still sound good, you know, though, so. I think it sounds good. Okay. But, so, so you know, so, in the same vein of like a Anita Baker or Sade, you know what I'm saying? Very low tone, chill singing. Yeah. But with that aside, I still think, and I'm just naming all the things that people could come at her about, Shaq. But I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's a, it's, it, I've listened to it a lot. So I have come, a, I've, become accustomed to her sound, her tone, her lyrics. And I like what she brought in this album. And I really think that she should have been nominated for a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I'm a fan. Like, it sounds I'm a super good. fan as well, man. I listen to it a lot. A whole, whole I lot. I listen to it a lot, G. See, my lot. take on what, see, my take on what Shaq said, and you know Shaq, I love you, what on my heart. Um, but you know, a lot of times we always, you, you know, a lot of times we always think there's an oversaturated market, right? But think about it like this. How many loaves of bread do you, do you see on the shelves? You know what I'm saying? You got multigrain, you got keto bread, you got white bread, you got hostess, you got, um, all kind mothers, you got Sarah Lee, all of them make bread. So you mean to tell me I'm not supposed to make my bread because it's somebody else making bread? <laughs> she sounds like not she sounds like she beautiful. has that sound. She has that sultry, sultry sound. It's definitely poetry vibes. It's definitely like poetry. you know what I'm saying. But if that's her vibe, that's what she's feeling. I'm not gonna start wearing white Air Force Ones because somebody else white wearing white Air Force Ones. I'm a rock white Air Force Ones. Look at you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or oh, G Fazos, as we call it on the West Side. G Fazos. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, her sound is. You know what I'm saying? Similar to sounds we hear. But at the same time, it is. her lyrics, what she was saying, I appreciate it. I haven't heard them. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the sound might be the same, but the message was, that she was giving was different. Mm. Word, word. And I, and I agree with what you're saying. However, I will say, yes, there are probably a hundred types of bread on the shelf but only a few of them do you know by name our household names i could the ones you name it's probably a million other ones i don't know them like i may hear them i mean i may see them i may taste it at somebody else's house i'm like oh this is good but am i really gonna go out and buy it probably not. She, and that's the point the point is to become a household name eventually well, i'm we gonna make a household there. name we i'm, gonna, on, we I'm on the shelf i'm on the shelf though i'm on the shelf i'm on the shelf I might not be household, but I'm on the shelf, though. True, I'm on true, the shelf. True. Okay. You know what? Um, something you just said, Kelsey. Dang, man. was a good segue into... Oh, uh, uh, the lyrics that we haven't heard before is a good segue into Jasmine Sullivan, I think. Um, I think that hotels... And, we, and here we are. Transition... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but um into Jasmine Sullivan's hotels. Um with the French ho, with the French spelling ho, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Uh, right. hey. 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 That's what you have to But do. um so 
the the album is interesting to me because it's half songs, half conversation. You know what I'm saying? There are eight songs on this 14 track album. Eight, eight or nine, something like that. No, like no. straight songs. The others are the other tracks are conversational interlude pieces of I'm gonna say younger African American younger women who single young young African American single women. These are not women that are married. These are not women that sound like they 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 are they are exper they are experiencing their young escapades, you know what I'm saying? Um and I think it's an interesting story because it tells many different perspectives. There's many different perspectives on here. There's not just one straight pers perspective. And I think that um, it's something that hasn't been touched on for real. Maybe in a song or two. Because um, Ari, you know, uh, Ari Lennox is on the album and she has a skit as well. And she's touched on these topics in her She's touched, she's touched on these topics in her songs, but um, it's never been, you know, she'll touch on some of these in, her, in certain songs, but this is the first time that I think the concept has been explored. You know what I'm saying? The concept is completely being explored in this album. You know what I'm saying? I think it's... it's you know, some people may look at it like, man, it's half interludes and half songs. But the interludes tell an important part of the story. You know what I'm saying? Um, I enjoyed the album as an African-American male. As a married African-American male, I enjoyed the album uh, because I'm a fan of her singing. And I'm a fan of her lyricism. I think the way she writes is uh something that isn't really seen amongst a lot like she writes like she thinks you know what i'm saying she's writing her real thoughts it's not necessarily it's almost like she's writing her thoughts and come up with the melody later you know a diary saying? it's like a diary that we it's got like, to read it's like a diary and uh you know it's very it's it's deep in that way you know what i'm saying um uh, you know, she got the surface joint like uh, on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, put it down. You know what I'm saying? But sounds like lost one. You know what I'm saying? Where she explores, man, the selfishness of I lost that dude and really want to be with him, but don't you have fun without me? Cause that's how. Cause that's how. Wait for me. Wait for me. That's wait for me. Some, wait that's for how me some back. men be. Yeah. That's how Drake be. That's yeah. how Drake be. That's yeah. all his bars. That's all his bars. Like you, the one I'm supposed to be with, but to, this ain't the right time. Come back to me. Like we we met and it wasn't the right time, but I know you, the one I want to be with. So come back. Run that shit back. Fire. Yeah. So. <laughs> tap into the complexities of the female mind. Let's go, Shaq, let's go. But insecure, feminist, but sexy. Independent, but expecting a, a man to take care of course. Of you know yeah. what, and that's it, Shaq. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Being a leader, but wanting him to lead. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Being dominant, but wanting somebody to take control. Like, I love you, but you got me fucked up. And hug me at night, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's that's Shaq. That's that's a I, I didn't think about that, but that was a really good example. Like I'm a I'm 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 independent, but I want to be cuddled at night. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm independent, but I want you to tell me what to do at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what this album was about. It was seeing like, okay, now you know, in 2020, the, the gender roles have changed. Like a lot of women is, are extremely independent, mm -hmm. but we want we want us y'all we want us to we want y'all to see us but still do like i can do it but then you should still tell me what to do at the same time 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's you. what that was. Oh, so, okay, okay. So you like that energy? You like that? So there's a story. So there's that narrative on the album as well. Mm-hmm. There's that narrative on the album as well. Some women, you know, disagree. Would it would it be fair to say that some of the perspectives on the album are contradictory to one another? Yes, for sure. Yeah. Of course. And uh, women, women, women are contradictory to each other. Let's not get it twisted. True. We can ask for lemonade and get lemonade and ask for iced tea. Okay. That's not. Let's not okay. do that. Okay. That's the truth. And I don't want y'all to think that that's not the truth. It is. It is. True. True. <laughs> Say it, it is. is. And so in that, so in that complexity, then, what is a man to do? Like get lemonade what, and iced tea. Mm. That's that's real. <laughs> we answering the real questions tonight. This know, is some real. Also, um, you know what? This is some real stuff. Cause I've been a person that asked for something and got it, and was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then it's like, well, you know, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm not gonna lie and say it's an easy role to play. It's not. Mm. It's not. We're gonna give it back though. It's gonna come back. Cause we gonna anything. It's gonna come back. But it's 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 just it's just different. I, I feel like, you know, I don't mm-hmm. know. But I, I definitely know that it's always going to be reciprocated. We we are more emotional and, and vulnerable and, like, uh, than you guys are. And y'all think of things more, like, logically. Like, if she says she wants pecan ice cream, I'm going to get pecan ice cream. And when I come home and I got pecan ice cream and she say, why you didn't get sherbet, I'm going to be like, what's wrong with you? Are you crazy? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's the thing, but back to the album, G. I <laughs> It's you all know, it's all inclusive. It's all, no, it's all it, is, it is. Yeah. It is. But from the bottom of my heart, I had Miss Jasmine. You know what I'm saying? So mm. when I knew she was coming out with an album, I ain't even wait. You know how it's so much music coming out, you know what I'm saying? Be like, no, nah, I ain't listen to it yet. Nah, baby. When it came out, I, I I had I was at work and I had it in my AirPods and I was like, okay, y'all go, y'all, I, I'm here, but I'm gonna listen to this album, the from cover to cover. You know what I'm saying? Everything that Everything that everybody's talking about her right now, she had deserved that a long time ago. She had deserved that a long time ago. True. Life, you know what it is? Life, it's, it's, beard, bust it, your windows out your car. Yes. Jasmine has given us the, the 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 words that come out her mouth. You can tell it came from her soul. Yes. The, the, yeah. When when she say it, it's like, damn, you went through this shit. I know you went through it. I know you went through it. Cause the way you sing it, I know you felt that. You felt it. If you didn't you go felt through, it, you felt it. Yes. And the and the preludes you're talking about, come on. It, it gave me very miseducation of Lauren Hill vibes. Because you know, mm. miseducation of Lauren Hill, it gave us interludes. It gave us conversations before songs. And That's the true. conversations before the song explained the song that was coming up. Because Facts. I need y'all, I need, I don't need y'all to uh, interpret this the way y'all think y'all gonna interpret it. I'm gonna give y'all the guidelines. This is my album, and I'm gonna show y'all the reason why I'm saying this. You know what I'm saying? So, pick up your feelings is my favorite song. Yeah, pick, that's like, a good don't song. Don't forget, don't forget, don't 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 try to come back. Don't try to come back. Come, make sure you get everything: your clothes, your shoes, your socks, and your feelings. Cause this is that, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and on it is the, the single. And that's definitely cold because Ari Lennox saying that with her heart. Don't, all right. I'm just sit on cry. it, spit on it. Okay. <laughs> she's saying, she saying everything that single black mothers can't say on Facebook without being ridiculed. They saying it and they saying it for us. Okay. That's what that's 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 that's, that's what we think and don't say. Okay, y'all, y'all can say it for us. Thank you. Appreciate it so much. Price tag, um, all of that. Dreaming so, about being being able to jag money and being able, she said she dreamed about you know what I'm saying buying this and buying that and doing this and driving that. Who don't got some dreams, baby? That's that's exactly how we feel. We want the finer things, we want nicer things. Now that might not be our reality, but we still want it. It's so many mm-hmm. songs on this album that I related to, and that's why I just play this every day because I'm just like, man. Wait, so you really, you really, you really been listening to this joint, huh? This is your I joint. To this album every day, front to cover. Mm. 
I don't skip it's a, the phone. It's a quick listen, like half an hour long. 32, 32 minutes. minutes. Yeah. And, and then Cleo thought, Cleo thought was 38 minutes. But it's, it's all, like, it don't take much time. Like, man. Listen, listen, listen. So Jasmine said this, uh, I think, in an interview with Revolt, with, uh, Revolt TV. She said, hotels is uh, about my observation of uh, today's women standing in their power and owning who they are. No longer is patriarchy dictating what it means to be a good girl. Mm -hmm. Truth is, women of all ages have been called a hoe at some point in life, whether deserved or not, by some man trying to put us in our place. A place mm -hmm. designed to keep us under control, out of the way, and usually beneath them. We all have a journey to make, and it's our uh, choice alone how we get there. So she put it, I mean, she said this before the album came out. And listening to the album, you know, Kamal was right. I'm like, gee, we can't just cover this by ourselves. We got we to gotta get some, some female energy on here. You know what I'm saying? I think anybody can add value, but something like this, you know. Um, my favorite joint on the album, honestly, was The Other Side. I, think. I was just looking at lyrics yes! for The Other Side, G. Yes! Stop playing. Yes! Stop yes! playing. Yes! Can let me give her her flowers, G? She told us, look, look here. When she said years back, I'm not scared of lions, nor tigers, nor bears, G. That's what she said. That's some writing, G. But I'm scared of loving you. Am I the only one who thinks it's an impossible task? Like, man, that, look. She, to me, is one of the best writers, G. That, That's that, what I'm saying! It's honest, it's raw, it's authentic. When you know she what said, saying? why it don't last, why it don't last, is that too much to ask? Is that to too ask? much to ask? Why do we love love when love seems when to love hate seems us? love seems to hate why us. Do, how, many times even, how many times you done got your heart broken? You like, damn, I, I love, I so love hard. you. I was in love. I need you bad. What? Yes. What? Need you bad or let it burn? From reality show? Yeah. Stop. Stop. She yeah. always said exactly what I felt. Right. She, she was always speaking in my perception. She was to me. Like, I'm, I'm, I, yes. Speak for me. Say what I'm trying to say. So, Shaq, what's some of your um, go to tracks on this album? So, even before the album came out, um, the first single, of course, I heard on it was Lost One. And when I tell you I played that song, True. Uh, I couldn't play it anymore because um, everyone has either felt that way or wanted to wanted somebody to feel that way about them. Like, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, the one that got away type deal. Um, and I agree with what Kelsey said a long time ago. Like, we've seen this time and time again. I don't know why people are always so shocked when she comes out. I mean, I know it's been six years, but I don't know why people are so shocked when she comes with the lyrics, when she comes with, because she, she's very consistent in that way. She's yeah. speaking stuff. She's, to me, even without the, the, um, the interlude, she's very conversational. I always feel like mm -hmm. it's like stuff I would talk to my girlfriend about, like, I, I busted. Agree. And Wendell's out his car girl, like you know, like you know, or uh, he got 10 seconds. You know, she she always comes with the stuff, it's so conversational. I feel like she's like my bestie. So in 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 every song that she has, and I agree also with Kelsey with this is stuff that women, because like in the interview, women are not allowed to say these things, they get ridiculed. Even a lot of the female rappers, they men have been rapping about sex busting down doing everything under the sun but when a female rapper does it she does not get the same respect it's 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 you know she's expected to be in this certain type of way so anytime <laughs> a female goes outside of the box and just does it i'm just i love it but put it down is probably one of my favorites everybody been dumb for the d and I mean, even with the last year or the year before last with the for the d challenge with everybody like <laughs> I <laughs> Okay. Hey, you know, like, hey. you know, <laughs> so I don't remember that challenge. <laughs> Ma, you are a male. Women saying what they, oh, what they did that. and what they will do for the people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Shaq. Don't play yourself, come on. That's why you're right, right, right. All right. I, I, <laughs> I'm right there. Like it was just like you know, and then uh, people gave Cardi um, trash for saying like, "I don't let my baby listen to this," and I'm just thinking like. Um, 
ain't this the same thing as adult conversations? I don't know about y'all, but I definitely been excused out the room because adults was talking. Yeah. Now, what what people don't realize is this yeah. this these people are women, mothers, and entertainers. Everything I say and everything I do, I don't want my child to hear. But yeah. this still is a conversation that needs to be had. This is still something that I feel. So you want me to say, you don't want me to talk about how I feel because one day my child might hear it and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's a whole different conversation. I'm supposed to mute myself. I'm supposed to not say nothing about nothing because y'all gonna hear everything because I'm an entertainer. They have no privacy. And Jasmine and Jasmine laid it out. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, this is, this is what it is. Yeah. This is what it is. This is how it looks. This is how it looks, and then, and guess what? Ain't no shame in it. Like, okay, and here we go. Yeah, I think you that's know? important. I think that's beautiful. important too, to, for people, yeah. for a female to release this kind of art, man, because, I mean. It's definitely it's, art, OG. You know, it's definitely um, art. And I, I've said this before, and I've, I've taken some, I don't know, I, I've, somebody has said, man, why are you capping or whatever, you know, or whatever. Like, I think that, People should be able to say what they want to say, whether it be a male or female artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys shouldn't be the only people who can say, you know, talk about, you know, getting head or this or that, whatever is deemed disrespectful. But when a woman, you know, dropped this kind of artist, like, wow, really? It's like, well, females want it too. Like, what do you think? The very we, first track. Or you think we're not all sexual beings? Like, yes. What's going on? Yes. The, the, <laughs> like, first the Bible say, the Bible say, go forth and be fruitful. We should be able to talk about being fruitful. <laughs> Only that. Mia want a freak, but then want a female. <laughs> you upset. Like, what? You, right. you either want or you don't. What? What? Right. Come on now. We want, gotta be, we gotta be look, subtle. Man. Look, man. Why we gotta be subtle? Why we gotta be subtle? I agree. But we want the freak to ourselves. Not a freak for the streets. We don't want to that's freak true. for the streets. We want to. I mean, that's true too. Family. I get it. You want a lady in the streets, but a freak in the bed. Uh -oh. Okay, Luda. <laughs> but but men can be men <laughs> when men are overly sexual. It's oh well, you know he gotta you know he gotta explore so that he can be so by the time he settled down. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. But for a female, it's not the same. It's not the same. You can't get to it. Let's so, be look, there. Right. We don't this want nobody that's been all the mouths on it. We don't want that either. So what? Bodies, bodies. Hey, that's the first track. Bodies. <laughs> but look, but look, this is my thing with that, Shaq. This is my thing with that. Women feel like that, right? But who is telling them that? Are they feeling like other men in society are telling them that? Or are men and women? Because if it's just men, why are we, why, why as women, why are women deciding that, that men have that say? You know what I'm saying? It's albums like this that say, you know what? Men don't have that say. Men don't have that say. Yes. That's Jasmine why this Sullivan album was necessary. That's why this album was necessary, come on. And it yes, Jasmine Sullivan is correct. Men, women, men and women aren't put up to the same standards but that's because of a male patriarchy yeah it is it is because who's to say you know what i'm saying who's to say if if it's sold records then it's gonna move Nicki minaj is making moves you know what i'm saying and uh cardi is making moves she's making moves sex sales and all that good stuff right Cleo soul should sell. Cleo soul should sell. Oh, I see where you're going with this one. But I'm just saying, <laughs> who's making, who is saying, who's making the rules? Who's saying, like you're saying, you're saying to. that I'm women ready. are always looking at like this. Is it men? It, whose gays are we talking about? Are we talking about okay. men? Are we talking about men and women? You're right. It is men and women, but it starts with men. Because let me tell you why females do that. Females do that because that's another way. It's, it's female competition. If I like, 
it's easy for me to be like, why are you messing with that hoe? You know how many, you know how many dudes she didn't let hit? Blah, 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 blah. It's easy. That's another mm. way for a female to tear another female down. And if mm. it didn't come with the top, if men did not care about that, that's not a criteria that women could use to, to, to go against one another, period. So it starts with men. If men didn't care, if men is like, your, your past is your past, whatever. Your body don't, count, your body don't, count don't, don't, don't matter. matter. Women could not use that. Women could not use that against one another. So it still starts with me. Oh, wow. So, so, you so right, I, Shaq, Shaq, I ain't even think about it like that. So you, okay, so you got a point. But are you saying that men set the standard? Are you saying Always, that yes. Yes, y'all do. Y'all do. Y'all do, 100%. Interesting. Because you know what? Ludacris said I was getting some head, getting, getting some head. I was getting some head. And then Charlotte on that song. Charlotte's on that song. Huh? What about Uchi Wally, Nas, by one of the nastiest songs. What about Tip Drill? Uncle Nas. I mean, I mean, Uncle come on. It's, it's a million Lewis. songs. Put it in your mouth. I mean, it's a million songs. It's okay, a million songs. Uncle Luke, hold on. Uh, it's a million. But I'm, we I'm just, just finally saying. seeing the stuff y'all been saying. Y'all been saying it. Now we saying it. I feel what you're saying. Yeah, y'all said that, when no y'all when y'all was saying it, y'all ain't getting no backlash. Y'all ain't getting no. Well, well no we thing. wouldn't. We we wouldn't though because society. That's how. That's how. This is how it's but been that's society the point. for a oh. long time. Ot, you know? that's the point, though. That's the yeah. point they make. That's the whole point. That's the whole right. No, no. I, I am in. I am agreeing. Like, I'm not gonna. I'm not finna cap and try to come up with some male perspective to argue when yeah, yeah. I know culturally this is how things have been for a long time. Like, I have sons and a daughter, and when I like, I can be 100. If I'm talking to my sons, you know, and you got your little girlfriend, you got a little girlfriend at school, blah blah blah. Gee, I'm not finna never do that with my daughter. I'm not finna ever be asking her. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm true. not going to ask her, got your little boyfriend. I, I don't want her to, I don't want nobody to ever touch her. So why is that? Right. Why do, I'm going to be, I'm going to be different with how I raise my kids based upon the sex that they have. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, exactly. I wish it wasn't that way, but I'm just being 100. Like, that's real. That's and real. And then, okay, when you meet him, you're going to be like, he's going to be like, hi, my name is Xavier. And you're going to be like, okay, John, nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. yeah. Who is you? I'm a daddy. So, straight, well, I think straight bad albums, boy, bad boy style. You know what I'm saying? I think <laughs> what's dope is that albums like this can help us have a conversation about things like what we're talking about. Basically. Have you ever sat with a man before? <laughs> you so stupid. Chris <laughs> Sullivan also does not get enough credit for. I feel like she's always came with the issues not just i don't know if you guys so it was her second album um love me back she has a song on it called redemption where she talks yeah. about domestic violence and she talks about like mm. killing this dude like she on the phone with her mama like i can't take it no more like she's yep. always bringing up the issues not just like you know yeah every woman want to bust a dude car windows but she come with the issues and i feel like i completely agree oh just like this is this opens up a dialogue um yeah that and that and that's what it's for to you know talk about how yeah. this does exist and how do we move how do we move forward from here yeah you know what i don't even want to talk about the tory and Meg thing but i'm gonna say mm. it. so she said you know what i'm saying a, i'm a fan okay, of Meg, so though i'm a fan of Meg, and i and I'm really with I'm really rock with Tory Lanez like that for real, right? I was on Meg's side from the beginning. But you know but the thing is, when when everything went down, she was quiet. He was trolling. She didn't say nothing. He was trolling. She didn't say nothing. He was trolling. So she like hell no, uh uh, I gotta say something now. You wrong. And then when she spoke up, she got called a snitch. And it's like bro, I wasn't saying nothing. He was commenting on everything and I ain't say nothing. But now that I do say something, I'm a snitch. I'm supposed to protect the black man, love the black man, and get lied on by a black man. What I'm supposed to, what else I'm supposed to do? Mm. And now she done dropped the charges because she just wanna be left alone. It's like leave me alone. Okay, I'm done, y'all. Y'all win. I don't I don't even care about getting mm. peace. I don't care about getting justice. I just want y'all to leave me alone. I just wanna be free from this whole situation. Just leave me be. And why I gotta be like that? Why her, why, why is her, she question, you know what I'm saying? She's saying, she's saying this is what happened. 
Why don't y'all believe her? Why is always it's, everybody believe every it, the man what the man say when it's her? Oh, she a snitch. Why? Because she spoke up piece. She was quiet for months. Only reason why she spoke up was because he said too much. Honestly, my mm. only thing, the, my the only problem because I love me some eggs. My only problem with that is I feel like um I feel like. As an artist, you should do to me what artists do, and that's to take it to the studio. Period. Uh, she did though. She when did it, the song. She, she made a song. Did, huh? She did after uh, way after the fact. Too late. But too, too late. late. She did that too late. I feel like when it comes to albums like Jasmine Sullivan, like she ain't wait for somebody to call her a hoe before she went in the studio and wrote a song about hotels. She got she was ahead of the curve, period. And the one thing I like about this is that it was unapolog uh, unapologetic, period. I feel like even in Meg's response to the Tory Lance, it was still like an apology in there. Like right. You know, I but, you know, but that's the thing, Jack. Why she feel like why she feel like it had to sound like an apology? Why does she feel like it had to sound like an apology? Why is she why did she not be unapologetic like I don't care what y'all talking about. This is what happened, and this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? She still felt like she had to defend herself. If you see, if she's saying that this man did her wrong, why don't she? Why is she defending herself? Why? Why don't she? Why do they always got to be the one that's defending themselves? And that's the whole point. Whatever y'all can do, we can do. If she would have shot somebody in a, she would have shot somebody. That it would have been. That, that would have been it. Everybody would have been on, like, okay, Meg, Meg, Meg the Stallion, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? It would have been a closed case. You know, mm. but, but because it's the other way around, it's like everybody questioning her. Why don't nobody why don't nobody come to the defense of the black woman? Mm. Why she gotta plead her case? Why she gotta fight for herself over and over and over again? Why she gotta be excused to say inappropriate things when inappropriate things are said all the time by, by men and nobody ever gives they, they don't ask permission to say that. Let's we go. Say the things we ask permission to say stuff like that, and then when we say stuff like that, we, everything get questioned. Our behavior get questioned. The way we dress get questioned. Our parenting skills get questioned. But y'all say this shit all the time. I can't say it because I'm a woman. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I can't do that. Now they do come at they do come at future all the time. But that's, that's neither here nor there. Seventy eight baby mama. She got seventy eight baby mama. I'm just playing. I'm just I'm just playing. I'm just. Playing. I'm just, playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> But, but I, I do feel what you're saying. To say though about Jasmine Sullivan's album because you know I got to play devil's devil's advocate here. I of do course, think it just left me wanting more. Like it be. You know I what? I think that's what she wanted. I think I that's what she wanted. That, I mean, I'm sorry, it really did. Like after six years, baby, you come with 32 minutes and half that. It's talking. No, she been gone for so long. She gave us a sample, a snippet. Nah, she's she gonna give us some more. She's 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 gonna give us some more. It's not how she moves. She will not come out with another album. She's not coming out with another album for 10 years. <laughs> you think so? Oh, no. Y'all think she's she like, gonna make us wait another six years? Well, this is why she's like, not really oh, as accepted. I think she's not as accepted because of stuff like this. Like, she, she put out her music and then she fades, you know, until she wants to come back again. She like, so, I know what, maybe she needs some healing. Like Frank maybe, Ocean. She some, maybe she needs some TLC. Maybe she needs some self-care. Maybe well, she has I, to get herself together. We still acknowledge Lauren and she gave us one album. Well, true. But I would love, and I love Lauren to the end of the world. I would do anything for her. I would wait two hours for her to show up. I don't what care. was it though that Jasmine Sullivan she she has said like you know she was gonna give up music when she didn't have that love for it anymore and so she had put a post on Instagram or whatever and said that she wasn't gonna be doing music anymore and that's when she took her long break but what I was gonna say to O though because you said that's not how she operates I have a question for you well for anybody um do you think that that I, I feel like some of that lack of confidence may have come from her size and not really being accepted in the music industry. And now that Ooh, she- now you, now you're that getting she, deep, Jack. You're getting deep, you're getting deep. You're getting deep. You're getting deep. Jasmine Sullivan? I just wanna know. Yeah, I, I'll definitely say that I think for the longest, if you were playing in the world of R&B females, you had to be a certain size to be, you had to present sexuality. So I do think that early in her career and a little bit later, Earlier no. in her career, I think, for sure. 
People now, I, wanna, I, I, wanna, I just want to I want to jump in and say not only size but color. Mm. Y'all seen that video of Rick Ross and the color I ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for these conversations. The right? dark skin and, and, and light skin and you know what I'm saying like so she a plus size chocolate girl, okay? Mm. So that that definitely plays into a fact of how and you know what? It might necessarily be you know what I'm saying something that was going on internally. It might have been something that was happening, like, okay, we can't market you or whatever, whatever. These artists go through more than we can realize. They pressure to make music all the time. They pressure to continue to perform. They qu they pressure to have lives and have families and have husbands and also still try to make money come in every month, every week, every day. Oh, everything that's on their mind is keep going, not to fall off. Nobody wants a one-hit wonder. Mm. And on top of that, I'm thick. And on top of that, I'm not light. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's that's a real job. That's that's multi. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 functioning at a high level because I'm I'm trying to consider all these things in my life, and I'm trying to keep going, and still trying to be professionally music, and I'm still trying to be. You know what I'm saying? Like how how ha ha eighties was probably necessary. Yeah. That time off was probably needed for yeah. her mental. They got mm. mental health too. These artists can't just keep pumping out and pumping out and pumping out music, and then they don't, they don't have nothing. To, you know what I'm saying? What, where's they PTO? You know what I'm saying? Where's their, you know what I'm saying, time off? They need some time off too. They got to take a break. This music industry is, is like sharks and, and lions and tigers in a cage. It ain't going to always end up nice. And if I got to step away and mm. lose everything because of my mental health, then I'm going to step away. So her, be, her right. being expected to perform in such a high capacity all the time, her hiatus probably was necessary. And I, I appreciate right. her coming back. I respect her. I, would, I didn't go ridicule her. Yeah, her I don't mind layoffs. Back. I really don't mind layoffs at all, honestly. I, I think yeah. that, you know, whatever you got to do get, to get your music out, all I care about is the music. If the music is fire when it drops, then we good. So whenever Kendrick Lamar decides to drop his album, <laughs> uh, you it. know. You see what I'm hey saying? Man, like, don't, it don't matter. Don't say that and then come at Jay Electronica there, man. Don't do it. Yeah, don't well, he didn't drop it. an album for 50 years, so. Ooh, yeah. So what? So what? It was a good album. For some. For some. That accepted when it came. Not that accepted this. when it came. Like me, I accepted it when it came. Okay. And I enjoyed it. Okay. Number one <laughs> album of the year for me. But, you know. You know, what can I say? <laughs> Sometimes, like, it, it, and, and, then, and, and the only thing, and the thing about hotels is, okay, she left, but she still came back cold. You know how many people leave and come back like, oh, that's right. She'll never, she'll never not be good, but for the simple yeah. fact that she collects thoughts, she collects her thoughts, she finds something to write about, and then focuses on that. Like this album <laughs> here is a specific collective thought of giving. A female perspective. It's a whole. It's 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 about you know, raw, authentic female sexuality, regardless of how you feel about it. And that uh -huh. probably took some time to put together. The conversations fit with the songs. You know what I'm saying? That's that's fire. So for sure, for sure. I don't know where Shaq went, but wherever Shaq is, uh, uh yeah. Yeah, I don't know where she went, but <laughs> beers and bars. Yeah, we'll Man, see y'all next time. This conversation was definitely intense and necessary, in my for in my sure. personal opinion. This is positive. Hey, there she is. Oh, guess who's the Zach? <laughs> yeah. We didn't peace out. We uh we said our buys and all that. But so, but we 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 um uh, yeah. Okay. We well, ended the show, but it's all back. good. We can okay, yeah. y'all are a vibe. Like, thank you for this. It was needed for the culture. It was just yeah, yeah. Necessary. We got to tag Jasmine Sullivan on this joint, Jay. We got to oh, tag yeah. Jasmine Sullivan. We got to tag Luella Cole. We got to tag Diddy. Uh, oh, Luella, Luella Cole. Hey, this we show wildin'. is sponsored by Luella Cole right we now, man. Hey, where to get the Luella, Luella Cole. 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 Right we ain't even we mentioned where to Luella get the merch at. We got to shout out to LuellaCole.com. You can get LuellaCole.com. This joint, you're going to have to holler direct. You're going to have to DM me for this joint. You know what I'm saying? And right, those two hat. Hey, hey, we moving, man. We moving. We moving right now. It's definitely. It's. I. I feel like this is definitely. Um. Everything is headed in the right direction, y'all. I don't sure. know. 
um, how y'all feel about everything that's happening, that's going on right now. But I definitely feel like everything that y'all want, everything that y'all feeling, that is going to happen. Because, you know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned, I know you guys personally. And yeah. I know that you, we are the most humblest people I've ever met. And, and I feel like, you know what? I'm going to be honest. It's our time. We've been humble for too long. And guess what? I've been doing everything I had to do my whole life. Now it's time to do what I want to do. And guess what, baby? It's going to be, we, and, and we're going to be good. I, and I've been telling this to myself, but I feel like I got to tell y'all too. Hey, it's up there. We up hey, there. West Side. Ain't nothing else. Ain't, 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 ain't there going to be no lacking. Ain't no it's lacking. up there. It's all gravy. Everything that we want is going to smooth back. And, yeah. if it ain't, and, if, and if it don't work out, then that's one of the world, that's the world we wasn't supposed to take, baby. Everything that's going to be for us. It's gonna hey, be man. easy. It's gonna hey. be easy. If it's for us, it's gonna be easy, baby. Ain't gonna be no pressure that needs to be applied. It's gonna happen. And that's, that's my take on 2021, baby. That's my take on 2021. It's smooth. Everything is smooth. And if it ain't smooth, it ain't for me. Shout out the black woman right now. <laughs> yeah, man. That's fire. Word up. Beers I and bars. Y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Love you too, love you too Kels. Kelso. What's good? Hey, Yo, we're the oh, bar, Shaq. Yo, we love you, Shaq, Kelsey. Thank y'all, man. It's an honor and a privilege. Man. It's an honor and a privilege. Right on. Sure. OT. But she said. Yeah, man. All right. Y'all be cool, man.